Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I'm Stephen A. Gasser from United Realty Group, and here we are in Lotus in Boca Raton, Florida. But what I just found out from the sales center, that they're just about sold out here, but they just broke ground on a new lot just down the street from here in Boca called Lotus Palm, basically phase two. And the models aren't going to be completed until first quarter of next year, but the models here are the same models they're building there. So the very first one that's behind my house is the Mariana. We're going to go walk inside and take a look. It's a five bedroom, five bath, and it's got a pool and it's on a little lake. So let's go inside and take a look. looking down the street and we're going to go right up the driveway and walk inside this gorgeous home well this one here says four bedroom plus den optional five bedroom the uh, fifth bedroom is optional or a loft five bath two car garage it's 4600 square feet total 3818 total uh, under air so let's go inside and take a look Gorgeous flooring in here. As soon as you walk in to the right, you have huh, mirrors, heavy realtor's nightmare. <laughs> a beautiful study up front, or it could be used as a bedroom. Has a walk-in closet. And adjacent to it, there's a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. And you come back out, and there's the front door, and that other door goes to the garage. You have a big, large, luxury living room. As you continue to walk in, you walk into the family room, TV. There's also the staircase that goes upstairs. Hurricane impact windows and doors that lead right out to the backyard. I see the pool. And you have a beautiful open kitchen with gas appliances. And a big pantry. You got lots of space here and all the way up to the ceiling. You have to get a step ladder to store all your stuff up there. So you have the country style sink. I guess that's what that's called. And a big dining area. Imagine sitting here eating breakfast every morning with that view. I'd love it. All right. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look upstairs. And upstairs here, you have the loft, which could be the fifth bedroom. So if you wanted to, this space here coming from up the stairs is a loft, or if you wanted to put a wall up, it could be another bedroom and it has its own private balcony up front so you can see the driveway from up here and this is what it looks like in here and then right up from the loft through the loft the stairs you walk right into the master suite The master has a patio that overlooks the pool area. So you have your privacy from your master bedroom, your own little patio. So 
So here's your master bedroom. And then you have a hall through the master that goes into two walk-in closets. Hey, I'm Stephen N. Gasser. There I am. And then the other master walk-in closet is right here. And there's another mirror. So it's got plenty of room. Really high ceilings in here. And you come out to a gorgeous master bathroom. So you got his and her sink. Beautiful tub. And a big walk-in shower. And this right here is your linen. Hello. All right. We'll walk back down the hallway. Through the master. And back out and see the other bedrooms that are up here. These two doors are mechanical. This is where your air conditioner is. So you have a bathroom here. And then a bedroom right next to it. With its own private bath. And a walk-in closet. And another bedroom with a reach-in closet. And down this hallway, we have the laundry area. So laundry is upstairs, makes it nice and easy. You don't have to schlep the laundry up and down the stairs. There's also a linen closet here. And here's another bedroom. Big windows, let in a lot of natural light. There's also its own private bath. And a walk-in closet. All right. So that's this bedroom. So this model is the four bedroom with the loft. And now we're gonna go to the next model and take a look at that one. Let's go downstairs. get a view from way up here what this living area looks like continue down the stairs there's that formal living room again and we're on our way to the next model okay we're back and now we are in front of the Bora model B-O-R-A and this model is a two bedroom two bath or has the option to turn the den into a bedroom and you'll have a three bedroom two bath with a two car garage and this model home is also on a water lot so let's go inside and take a look all right we're about to walk into the bora model here at lotus and it's also going to be the same model at lotus palm two bedroom two bath plus a den so it could be a third bedroom 1966 square feet under air and 2762 total square feet and it also has a two-car garage so let's go inside and take a look All right, so as soon as you walk in, this is what you see. And off to the left is the den, which could be converted into a third bedroom if you needed it. But in the model, it's a den. And then off to the right is where the official second bedroom is. There's your door to the garage. You have a full bath in the front portion of the house. And then you walk into the bedroom. It has a reach-in closet, has a little private entrance, I guess that leads to the side of the house and you can go out to the pool area. So you have a little alcove and this is the bedroom. And then right next to the bedroom to the left, you have a nice laundry area. And 
And then we walk out into the main portion of the house. Living, kitchen, dining area. One big open floor plan. So this area here could be used as a formal dining area or a sitting area as they have it here. You have your living room, dining area, and then your kitchen with bar stools, big thick stone countertop, gas appliances. Nice big open floor plan in here. And big sliding doors that go out to the patio. And this house is equipped with natural gas so you can have an outdoor kitchen. So you, have, you never have to refill the propane. There's also a refrigerator out here. So if you want to have an outdoor kitchen, so this model doesn't have a pool. But the model that we were at previously, the Mariana, is the one right next to it. And there's a, a look at the back of the house. So we were just up there a little while ago. So this is the back patio here in the Bora model. And we'll go inside and go to the next model. I'll get a better view of what the inside looks like. Oh, wait. I almost missed the master bedroom. Hey, I might as well film that. Look at that. That's what the uh, clubhouse looks like in the pool. But that's all uh, computer generated on the TV. So now we walk into the master bedroom. Okay. Has two large walk-in closets, one on the left and one on the right. And we walk right into master bathroom. Has its own private commode area. A lot of, a lot of space, linen closet, two sinks. And there I am, my favorite mirror. And there's the shower. Let's see if it looks better this way. Get you a feel for how big this space is. All right. Walk back out. And we're going to go take a look at one more model before we head out. There are many other models. I will put uh, the information on those models on the uh, description and you'll see them soon. All right, our last model for the day is the Maldives Premium. This house, I just walked through it, it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go inside and take a look. Here we are at the Maldives Premium model and I'm gonna zoom in right to the sign. Five bedroom plus a media room Optional six bedroom, den, loft, game room, five full bathrooms and two half baths and a four car garage, 5,200 square feet and 69.95 total. So let's go inside and take a look. So you got a two car garage here and a two car garage right there. They're unloading some stuff. That's okay, it's a model. We're gonna go inside and take a look. And as you walk in, there's your door for the garage. And you have a big open area up top that goes to the loft and media area. So we're gonna go to the right. And you have a mirror with me in it again. Full half bath. And that door there goes to the garage. And this is a, just a coat closet. This is one bedroom downstairs. And it has a walk-in closet and its own private bath.
And here's the walk-in closet. Now we'll walk through the house and walk in and you have a formal dining area. And this opens up to a big living room with a beautiful view of the lake. And a big open kitchen, high-end refrigerator, plenty of cabinet space. Well, let us see robot-like faucet. Pretty cool. So it looks like there's a mirror over here, but it's not. That space right underneath, that is a fireplace that opens up into the room next door. So let's go take a look. And as you can see, there's your view. Nice patio outside. I lucked out with the weather. So you walk right through here, and you have another living area they're using it as an office and kind of a lounge area got a, a bar and it also goes out to the patio area and we'll walk through and now we're going to go upstairs but before that, would you like a glass of wine? Yes, they have a wine cellar, except the door is locked. And you can see they have a little counter in there to cork the wine. So that's pretty cool. They're utilizing the space under the stairs, and they turned it into a little uh, wine room. So let's go upstairs. Come around the corner, and you come into a big open loft area. And this is what it looks like looking down at the front door. And this is above the front door. So you have this big open family room, loft, lounge area upstairs with a patio that overlooks the lake. And here's your nice loft area. And we're going to start on this end. These two doors are closets. So you have one bedroom here. It has its own private bath. When you walk out, you come to the next bedroom. This bedroom has an, its own private bath and a balcony. So the two models we saw before were that one there and that one right over there. So you have a nice big patio outside. And then there's also a walk-in closet. You have closets, space. And your own private shower. And we'll go to the next bedroom. Walk back out into this big, beautiful open space. I love the light. So here's another patio. You sit out and look at the front yard. Walk into another bedroom, has another walk-in closet. Big windows, lots of space, I mean, lots of light. And another private bathroom for this bedroom. Take another look. And we'll go back out around the loft. And let's see what's over here. Ah, this is the media room. Okay, do you want to go to the movies? Okay, we can go upstairs. Well, you got a two-tier floor here. So you got seating down here and a nice big long couch up here. This is the movie room. Look at that. Remember the movie Jaws? 
Harry Potter, E.T. Imagine coming up here on the weekends or during the week watching the game. Kids can come up here and watch movies. This is really cool. Your own movie theater. And then right across the movie theater, you have the laundry, which is conveniently located upstairs. You don't have to go up and down stairs with baskets of laundry. And then a big storage closet. And then here is a powder room, and this door automatically closes. It's on a spring-loaded powder room. Let's see here. So it's just a half bath. And it closes by itself. All right. Oh, look at that. Forest Gump. Now we walk back through the big open loft area. And we're going to go into the master bedroom. And this is the master suite. It has two. There's the mirror again. Huge closets. Two walk in closets. There's one. And here's your other one. And then a nice big master suite. And the master also has a little door that comes out. So if you want to come out and relax, you've got a patio, and that's that lounge area that's in there. I don't know if you can still see it, but yep, there it is. So you can sit out here and watch the sunset. Let's go back in to the master bedroom. Take another look. And let's go see the master bathroom. So you got nice high countertops, big walk-in shower, nice tub, another sink, and you got the commode area. And there's the shower area. Let's get a better with no glare from the glass. All right, so that's your master bedroom that's off this loft. So you have a family area up here. Down that hall, you have the laundry, a closet, a powder room, and the movie theater. And over here, you have one bedroom, two bedroom, and then another bedroom down the hall with the patio outside. And that bedroom in the corner there has the patio up front. And this looks down to the front entrance. And that is the tour of these three models for now. This is Lotus, and they're going to be putting these same exact models in Lotus Palm. So this new community, Lotus Palm, that's being built now, it's going to have about 525 homes. It's located on Glades Road in between Lions Road and the Florida Turnpike. So they just broke ground on Lotus Palm. And if you'd like to put a deposit on one of these lots before they even open up, it's $10,000 to put a deposit down on a home site. The maintenance fee for Lotus Palm is going to be $679 per month, or you pay it quarterly. If you use the GL Homes Bank, their financing company, to purchase this home, they will give you a $15,000 credit at closing. Not a bad deal. So what are the price ranges of these homes? Well, they, re they range between $1 million and $2 million. All right, real quick, just to recap, we just saw three of the models. There are other models, but uh, it would take me all day to film all of them. So these models that are here in Lotus are also going to be in Lotus Palm, which I already told you is now breaking ground. The land that they're using used to be a golf course, so they're bulldozing it. 
and they're going to put 525 houses. So I'm going to drive through Lotus, which is where I'm at now, and just so you can see what Lotus Palm will look like, and then I'll head over to Lotus Palm so you can see what it's going to look like. So stick around. So here we are at the Lotus Clubhouse, where they have pool, tennis, pickleball, a gym, and there's the maintenance man. This is what you see when you come into Lotus in the entrance, this big fountain. All right, so we're facing east on Glades Road and we're gonna turn north onto Golf Course Road, which is gonna be the new entrance to the Lotus Palm. So you just drive through here and the construction area is right ahead of me. As you can see, they're breaking ground ahead of me. And we come straight in and it says road closed. Let's see what it looks like. Can we? How close can we get? So this is going to be Lotus Palm. Yep. Lotus Palm. There's the signs. And there's the sign. It says 1.2 million to 2.5 million. GL Homes. So we can't get in there, but this is where this is where it's going to be. This is going to be the main entrance, and a, it looks like it's going to be a fountain right there. And so if you were looking for uh, new construction, I mean, really, really new construction, this is it. Give me a call. All right, so we're standing right in front of the soon-to-be Lotus Palm neighborhood. And you can see they start at 1.2 up to 2.5 million. And right over my shoulder, you can see all the new construction up there. Uh, they're starting to put the infrastructure in. So the models won't be open until the first quarter of next year. And when they're open, I'm going to be the first one here to show them to you. I'm Stephen Engasser from United Realty. If you like these videos and want to see more, click the like and subscribe button below and hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video every week. Thank you.